everyone, it's svgcoop.com with another video for you. And today we are bringing you a new book. Somebody in our group asked for a recipe book, so I decided to make one. Um, so this is our cover, and the cover has a chalkboard vinyl on it, so you could write on the front if you wanted to. Um, kind of cute, gives you some options. Um, in the files, you will get how to make the cover and everything that's inside of it. Um, okay, so when I open up the book, the first page has these pockets where you can fit 3 by 5 cards where you can put a bunch of recipes and all of that in there. So it's a, a, a nice place to keep your um, recipes stored. And then for page 2, I have um, this little tab here. We've got the nice... Um, mixer here and the title and you get that as well um, but when you pull the tab up you're going to have um, a whole sheet where you can add photos pictures um, I mean or recipes or anything you want but then the page inside opens and it's kind of supposed to be like a cabinet <clears throat> where it will open and then it opens again and of course both sides are matted so that you can put lots of photos in and all of that and of course then on the inside you can it's a matted here so that you could put some more photos or uh, recipes there so we have this cute little cabinet door and then of course with the flip down and inside each page there's a set of tabs and the tabs uh, have this cut out it's supposed to look like a paper bag and I thought maybe you could put a picture of something that you wanted to make um, with the recipe inside and of course you've got a nice big mat on the inside and of course it goes on both sides so every insert will have this um, for each set of pages I'm just gonna get that in the thing here okay so our next page is a cute cookie page I thought it would be fun to add um, this little pull out tab here and you of course can put your favorite cookie recipe here um, or pictures of somebody eating cookies or whatever it is you like but it's a cute little pull out and I show you how to get the cookie on there and get it so that it will move our next page is like a kitchen countertop with uh, three canisters on it and again I use the chalkboard vinyl so that you could write on here if you wanted to um, uh, so each tab pulls all the way out and you could put some photos, put a recipe, whatever you want to. Um, but it's, it's adorable. You can make these any pattern you want. You can label them whatever you want to. Um, I did give you a couple of options. I'll just show you. Uh, for the background, I created a couple of different layouts so it would look like your kitchen tile, um, in, on your kitchen counter. So you'll get those in your files as well. And again, it has the pull-out tab. Okay, our next page is a big cookie jar. So when you open this up, um, you'll have files to make these large cookies. You could make different cookies if you wanted. But I figured on the back you could put some recipes on here or pictures again of you know whoever eating the cookies that you make. So I made six cookies for mine, um, and you've got this nice little door here uh, with the button to open it and close it. Um, I'm thinking maybe I might put some Velcro in there to keep that shut, just because it would be really cute. Um, our next page, you'll get this wine glass, uh, chef wine glass, and this actually folds down so you could put something in underneath. Um, and then for this page, this side, there's a little pull-out tag, and you'll get the wine and dine title to go with yours, and this slips inside here. Get that inside. Um, and then each one of these little doors opens, so you can put something inside, a little sneak peek of anything, you know, hidden. There's, there's just all little hidden little pockets, just to make the book a little bit more fun to look at. So each one of these will open in a different direction. And and of course then it also has the pull out. Okay. And then our next page. This is our 
double oven page. So you can see it looks like it's got the um, the rack in the oven, but there's four tabs in each one. And on, on the tab you still have the rack, but you can put either the title of what your recipe is going to be, and then you can put the recipe on the back. Again, you could put photos of people eating things that you make in your oven, um, however you want to do it. Let's get this back in here. And there's, again, four tabs in each piece of your oven. And then we have the stove page. And this is supposed to be your stove top. And of course, um, I made it so that you have these little tags that you can twirl and see different images. There's four on each one. So you could have um, four different images, four pieces to your recipe, whatever you want to, but they're really cute. And I just thought, you know, you could put pictures of people cooking. This is, you know, your inner inner grill. And again, it has this cute little tab inside. Oops, let me get that close. Okay, and then our next one is our last page, and it has a, a spot for you to put some images. And we left this open so you can slip the images inside. Um, and because we had some other Muppet characters, I decided to put Bert and Ernie. Now, this last piece is what's the most exciting about this book. We did come up with um, a hinge system. So you'll see uh, when you do the instructions, there's a little hinge. And what we're going to do is when we open this up, you're going to be putting a hook on the back. And the hook just will click in like that so that when you're looking at your book or if you want to put hold up a recipe or whatever your book will now stand up because it's got the support of the back so you could you know hold the book open to a certain recipe that you have or just to display the book uh, it's a really cool piece function to this book and of course if you don't want to do that you can unhook it and fold it right back into your inside cover and no one will ever know and it can fit right on your bookshelf. So that's our recipe book. Again, it was a request. Uh, so I'm going to make the files available at svgcoop.com and we have our Etsy store there. The video instructions will be on the website and um, I hope you enjoy the book and I hope that you have as much fun making it as I did. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll be back.